So, um, unfortunately, you guys are only coming in halfway here, but I thought I'd video this because it's quite a neat idea. Um, what I have here is the 12 inch Retina MacBook. This is actually the 2017 model. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's something missing. Well, it's by choice from Apple. Um, there's no fan. And this chip is actually called passively um, through this heatsink that you can see here. Now, that's great. However, it's not. Because if you look underneath the heatsink here, that's your SSD. And these things regularly, and I've been monitoring attempts on this, regularly hit like, I don't know, 96 degrees while watching YouTube videos and whatnot. So um, I was doing some research and I found out somebody a bit smarter than me sort of figured out a way to improve the cooling by uh, sort of modifying the original heatsink. So what we do is, is we get some copper plates. Uh, I got these from AliExpress and I'll leave some links in the description. Uh, copper plates, uh, I've got over here some heat pads, which I'm gonna cut up and trusty thermal paste. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Uh, I was just giving a brief introduction here. I've still gotta get these three screws out. Uh, I've only got one person here, me, so I can't actually do this while recording. So I'm just going to cut back to, obviously, the next step. So um, I've just tried to change the lighting here as best as I can. Um, what I'll do is I'll flash on the screen now um, the the website. And as you can see, as I'm scrolling down, um, what he's done is is he's taken these two copper pipes. He's placed them on top of the... Um, sorry, the CPU here, and then he's put on some better thermal paste, because I don't know if you can tell, but this stuff is like, oh, it's aged not very well. It's only like a four-year-old machine as well. Um, so let me get this all cleaned off. I'm going to put on these copper, these copper plates. I mean, these cost me like one pound, um, excluding shipping. I think shipping was another one pound 30 or something. And yeah, we'll just go from there. So, um, <clears throat> new thermal paste applied. Um, I'm just sort of following very loosely this this here. So, um, just in case you didn't see the flash up, copper plates on. Uh, there's thermal paste under here. Thermal paste back on the heatsink, and then you put it back on, just like so. And then thermal pads, as many as you can on the outside of the heatsink. Put it back in, and essentially what happens is. Um, Obviously, this is the heatsink. This doesn't make contact with the the bottom plate. Um, obviously, there's a lot of cooling in here because this is just one big piece of metal, or in other terms, one big heatsink. Um, so what we're doing is we're basically we're modifying this because there's actually a gap between here as well. It's a big gap. That's why we're using the copper plate here uh, to make sure there's no gap. And then we're basically thermally bonding this, well I say bonding, but thermally putting this and attaching it to the casing. And then that means a lot more of the chip's heat can actually escape instead of it just sort of this being in this enclosed space. And what you do is you reduce the temperatures on the chip, you reduce the temperatures on the SSDs, which are prone to failing, and you just give this MacBook a much happier life. So I'm just gonna place this copper piece on top now you sort of only need one uh, because it covers both perfect look I mean it's just a perfect fit um, we'll apply our thermal paste and I'll get this screwed back on but I still need to clean the thermal paste off that so just bear with me thermal paste cleared up there let's apply it um, it actually says to spread it about so I'll do that um, just bear with me again I'm doing this one handed it's really not that easy, actually. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Once. And that is the thermal pad installed. So just to run it down for you guys, because I know I've been a bit sort of quick here and there. Um, okay, so we open it up. Um, you guys know how to do that already. Um, disconnect the battery, take the motherboard out, take the heatsink off, clean up the odd thermal paste. If you've got the 2015, uh, if you've got the 2015 models, uh, yours will be a lot bigger, your chip. But the 2017 is a lot smaller, blah, blah, blah. Um, 
thermal paste on the chip, uh, copper uh, plates on top, thermal paste on the heat spreader that's in the MacBook. Screw it down, don't screw it down too tight, uh, just being cautious. Thermal pads and put it back together. So my thermal pads are on, I'm gonna take the plastic coating off and I'm about to put it all back together and I will report back to you when that is done. It just got this MacBook back up and running. So, um, we are idling at, God, if it will ever focus, 74 degrees, and that's on boot. So obviously a lot of stuff goes on on boot. I've also got Chrome open, um, my friend's interrupting, that's okay. Um, so, Let's run a, a 4K video. So I knew this MacBook, it used to stutter because it used to get quite hot. Um, that's why playing 4K, that's what I'm gonna get. Still sort of stuttering, but I mean, I'm just looking at the temps here. This used to idle, I think this used to shoot up to like 100 degrees almost instantly when we're trying to play 4K and we haven't even surpassed 80 yet so clearly we're doing something right. Um, yeah, I'll give you a long term review of this soon but for this 12 inch MacBook just breathing some new life into it, it's amazing.